Let's start with the prayer bit. First of all, good morning, all of you. Good morning, ma'am. Morning, ma'am. Does one of you uh, start with the prayer bit? Let's start a day with a prayer. Hope you all have a good day today. Wishing you again a very pleasant morning and keep this energy throughout today. Okay. Now let's come back to the thought for today. Is one of you please read out with her? Okay. Thought of the day. Work so hard that one day your signature will be called an autograph. Now, signature, what's the difference between signature and autograph? Can one, any of you tell me what is the difference between signature and autograph? Can anyone tell me the difference between signature and an autograph? If you don't know, tell me straight away, Vita. Let's not waste time on that. Do you know or not? No, no, okay. Now, signature is what? Signature is a sort of your presentation, any common man presentation is called signature, right, Vita? We are common man. So, we sign is called signature. But when a legendary, when a very famous person signs, it becomes autograph. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. So, what makes you famous? As simple as that. Your perseverance, your hard work, your enthusiasm, and your aim. It all makes a difference. So a common person, a common man like you, can also convert the signature into autograph. Just by one thing. That is a proper goal in life, an aim in life, and you have to follow that. Whatever comes your way, you have to follow it and get it. That is only due to sheer hard work, nothing else. Clear? Yes, That's all about the thought. Two lessons are over. I have already given it yesterday night. I have sent you the what do you this? The LQs, I think so. LQ of lesson 2, Vita. Yes. And the PDF of lesson 2 was sent, I think, uh, in the afternoon. Yes. Yes. So I think you should start your work about regarding these two lessons. It should be completed along with FAQs of uh, uh, the uploaded videos. So whatever questions were there, in the uploaded videos, I wanted that on as well. So I hope uh, by Monday, your lesson one and lesson two will be complete. Okay, Vita? Yes, sir. We start with lesson three. I'm going to take this separately of lesson one and lesson two. Ten marks each. Uh, in the class itself, that means in the running class, I'm taking the, I will be giving you, I will be sending you all the because this, the Google form, and I will give you 10 minutes. How much time will I give you, Vita? Only 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, you have to fill up the Google form and send it back. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. All of you understood, Vita? Yes. We are going to work on synthetic fibers and plastics. See, these are all made up of plastics. Can you see this? 
these are all garbage containing plastics okay but first we should understand what exactly is natural fibers then only we can define synthetic fibers right beta so yes. first we will come to know what exactly natural fiber is so please one of you start reading beta natural fibers a fiber is a thin thread of a natural or artificial substance especially one that is used to make cloth or rope fibers can be classified into two main categories natural and synthetic natural fibers are obtained from natural sources such as animals and plants thank you beta so what is a fiber fiber is a thread like substance it may be natural or it may be artificial now what actually this fiber is used for beta it is used for making clothes or it is used for making ropes these fibers are again generalized into two main categories namely natural and synthetic natural fibers obviously will be obtained from natural sources for example animals and plants whereas synthetic fibers it is purely man made as we read synthetic fibers are purely man made is it understandable to all of you yes ma'am do you want to ask me any question regarding this slide beta no ma'am it's done i can understand you read it out so you know better What about rest of you, Buddha? Do you have any problem regarding this slide? Eight standard. No, ma'am. No doubt. Girls. One by one, we we'll see what are natural fibers. This one is cotton. Can you see this cotton, Buddha? Yes, ma'am. So this is from cotton plant, right? Cotton we get from a plant. then we have this silk worm right so we get silk from silk worm that you already know we did in seventh standard right beta yes then we have wool from sheep right see wool from sheep then we have linen this is a flax plant this plant is this flax plant and we get linen from flax plant linen is a type of cloth this is a rabbit can you see this this one is a rabbit and this one is a goat so you can see it's fluffy it's hairy so hair fibers are obtained from rabbits as well as goats so you can get wool from rabbits as well as goat is it understandable yes sir now you know that from where we are getting the fibers now we have done the plant fibers now we are going to work on animal fibers animal fibers silk silk is obtained from silk worms the most popular kind of silk is obtained from the mulberry silk worm this we know Do you know this? Or is something new? Are you aware of it, or is it something new, better? It's new, miss. It's new. We did in seventh standard. The life cycle of silk moth. You forgot, better? Mul mulberry. Yes. Mulberry. Exactly. We did it. How come we forgot? Seventh standard. We did the life cycle of uh, silk moth. I taught you. Then how the Uh, shearing is done how the wool is removed from the how the fur is removed from the body of the sheep shearing method the skin comes out fat comes out and is clean didn't we learn all these things yes yes so we know about it so the most popular kind of silk is mulberry silk worm from it's obtained from the mulberry silk worm now we come to wool read with wool wool is commonly obtained from sheep wool fabric is soft to the touch and provides warmth to the weather due to which it is the 
preferred choice for winter apple thank you now we obtain wool from sheep is so soft to touch and also the plus point is that it is whenever we wear during winter it makes us feel warm so that's why this is the preferred choice of apparel what is the meaning of apparel clothes what is the meaning of apparel beta clothes the clothes here you can see see the fur is removed can you see this fur is yeah. removed from the sheep right see they are removing the fur and look over here in two days a silk worm spins thread that is about 1000 to 3000 feet long can you imagine just in two days it can spin it can weave 1 to 3000 feet long thread can you imagine it's not a joke can you imagine so this is silk worm the silk worm Is it a silk worm? Yes. Now this is a cocoon. What it is, brother? It is a cocoon, and inside there is a silk worm. This worm will be inside the cocoon. You understand? Yes. Yes. And it spins the cocoon around it. Now the fiber is coming from its mouth. The fiber is coming from its mouth. You understand? And this yes. is a protein. What it is, brother? it is protein very strong now you also know that before it makes a hole and comes out as silk moth because it is metamorphosizing inside the cocoon you understand what we do we kill the silk worm by putting it in hot boiling water is it clear yes i told you this also remember we kill the silk worm by putting it in boiling water so because if it makes a hole the quality of the silk will go down so we want a long thread isn't it we want a long thread so if it is alive then only it will come out of the cocoon so the farmers they kill the silk worm before it changes itself to a silk moth you understand do you understand this yes ma'am yes yak fiber the yak is an animal that is largely found in the himalayas in india and tibet tibet the tibet very good the hair of the yak is very useful in the production of warm clothes mats and sets now another important fiber that we can have from animal is yak fiber this yak is an animal see this is how it looks like i'll show you with a so this is how it looks like. so it's very hairy and this hair is used to make clothes warm clothes so it where do you observe it where do you find it we find it in the himalayas where in india and tibet this hair is taken as for the protection of warm clothes mats what are mats beta can you tell me what are mats can anyone tell me yes yes tell me doesn't matter if it is hindi or gujarati chatai what is it? chatai very good chatai and uh, we do namaz on mats i think so yes yes you don't sit on the ground is it that for puja part or for you know worshiping we always use a mat sacks what are called sacks beta can anyone What are sacks? Hello. Have you heard of the word bora? Yes. 
to carry things uh, you get uh, gunny bags that's sacks sacks means uh, big uh, bags made up of uh, what you got a jute that's for a sacks ab thelo ke ye na moto thelo where you get uh, wheat rice dal those are called big sacks do you understand now what you get at home the big ones the big bags those are called as sacks generally it is called as gunny bags made up of jute okay apne kya kanthana kanthana bags hoye che yes yes that is called as sacks now the natural fibers are over any problem regarding natural fibers beta a standard no. hmm any problem regarding natural fibers now we are coming no. to synthetic fiber that's why i'm asking you okay so no, now maybe. we start with the okay beta now we start with the synthetic fibers start the synthetic fibers on the other hand are made by human beings that is why these are called synthetic or main made fibers the synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together each small unit is actually chemical substance many such small units combine to form a large single unit called polymer thank you now what is the difference between the natural fibers and synthetic fibers natural fibers we get it from nature that is animals or plants where the synthetic fibers humans are making it where in the laboratory in the research laboratory and then it has been given to factories and industries to take up in a large scale so humans are involved humans are making so it is called as synthetic or man made fibers now what is it actually it is a chain of small units joined with each other and each small unit is called as mer mer or it is called as mer mer and when such small unit join together so many mers mer join together it becomes polymer polymers many remember that and it makes a long chain of the same unit which is called as polymer it's like bead one after another these are the paper clips so one paper clip is mud and so many paper clips join together it becomes polymer do you understand yes all of you yes Why the A standard yes, is quite quiet? Are you understanding or not? If you are not able to, just stop me right away, Peter. I've been telling you so many times. No need to hesitate. You're not understanding. You can stop me. That's why I'm. You know, after doing or going to one slide, I ask you again and again. If at all you have any problem regarding this slide, right, Peter? So don't be hesitant. You are free to ask me any question. This much have you understood? So many merge join together to become polymer. It's a long chain, and this process is known as polymerization. What it is known, beta? Polymerization. polymerization. This much is clear, all of you. See, these are the synthetic fibers. Can you see this? How beautiful they look. These yes. are the synthetic fibers. Okay, now. these are the clothes which you obtain from synthetic fibers and one fiber looks like this this is the electron micrography electron microscopy from electron microscope they have taken the pic of these fibers so this is how it looks like see can you see this understand beta one fiber this one fiber looks like this This is man-made. Remember that. Some more. I've taken many slides for one topic, so as to revise. Remember that. This is a new topic for you. So 
it become it will become quite easy for you to understand. And you have to tell me when you are reading what extra you got from this slide. Is it clear, Beta? Yes. Start. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers. Synthetic fibers are made from different chemicals. Hence, each kind of synthetic fibers have their own properties. Synthetic fibers are more in length and are long-lasting. The only limitation in synthetic fibers is that they are poor absorbance of moisture and they catch fire easily. For what? Understood. You understood. What you understood? Going through the slide. We have done synthetic fibers already. Now we are doing it again. What extra information you got from this? Whatever you have come to know, let me know, Vita. Whatever you remember. Can anyone? Synthetic fiber is made up of from chemicals. Okay. And Any it else? can catch fire easily. Good, good. So this is the extra information you got from the slide, right? It can catch fire easily. And another thing is that it does not absorb water. It is a poor absorbent of moisture. That is another properties of of beta synthetic fibers right beta yes okay so we already know it has been prepared by man so it is a man made fibers different sort of chemicals are required are used so all the synthetic fibers that you are making will have different properties because we are using different chemicals am i right yes now, these synthetic fibers are not very small. These fibers are very long. Yeah, very long. And we may die. I repeat, we may die, but the synthetic fibers will stay. So they are long lasting. They don't have any age to die. Do you understand? Whereas cotton can die, wool, you can see woolen clothes, you can have holes in that. Isn't it better? If the woolen clothes, uh, if you don't take precautions in preserving the woolen clothes, it will get some you no know, holes in that. Because if you don't put moth balls, there's naphthalene balls, and uh, don't take care uh, in preserving or in uh, keeping the uh, apparels in your cupboard, uh, insects may make holes in that. But whereas in synthetic fibers, insects just cannot work on. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. No insects can make hole in these fibers. That's why they are long lasting. Lastly, the only disadvantage, I repeat again, the only limitation is disadvantage of these fibers are that. They catch fire very easily, and that's why females or women folk are not allowed to use nylon rayon while cooking. You understand? Because the melting point is very less of nylon and rayon, so that it will start melting and it will stick to your body. So the the, uh, the clothes which is made up of nylon or rayon, can catch fire very, very easily. Next one is that they do not absorb moisture. That means if I'm wearing nylon clothes, I will start sweating a lot, but the clothes will not absorb. So I may develop certain skin diseases. Do you understand? That's why it is not advisable. Any problem? No, ma'am. All of you? Hmm. No? Okay. How many are there in the class, Vita? Twenty. Twenty. But I'm getting only two answers. Why so? 
Doesn't matter. Okay, let's start. At least you both are understanding nicely. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Start with synthetic fibers, beta. Now we'll see what are the names of the synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers. Many items of clothing contain. Clothing. It's clothing. Clothing. Yeah. No, no, it's not the. It is the. Clothing. Very good. Contain materials such as polyester, 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 polyamide, terylen, rayon, etc. The items previously mentioned are all man-made fibers and are called synthetic fibers. Now, whatever items of clothing that we wear. They have got materials, for example, polyester, polyamide, terylen, rayon, etc. You must have heard about these things: rubia, two by two pieces. All these are the you know like brand name, but they are mostly synthetic fibers which man has made. All these items or man-made fibers, for example, polyester, polyamide, terylen, rayon. They are called as synthetic fibers. What are they called as, beta? What are synthetic fibers? Polyester, <laughs> polyamide, terylen, rayon, nylon. Have you heard of nylon? Have you heard of nylon? Yes. All these are synthetic fibers. Have you understood? Those? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Synthetic fibers. A synthetic fiber is a chain of small chemical units joined together. Each small unit is called monomer. Large chain formed by many monomers is called polymer. The process of com combining small monomers to form a large polymer is called polymerization. 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 So what you've learned from this slide, that it's a repetition, it's a revision. We already know about it, that the synthetic fiber is a long chain of small chemical unit which have joined together to make a a large chain, a long chain, that small unit is called a monomer. Say with me. A small monomer. unit is called a monomer. And when this monomer joins together to form a long chain, a large chain, it is called a polymer. What it is called with a? Polymer. Polymer. This process of becoming polymer from monomer to make a long chain, a large polymer is called as polymerization. Is there any problem? No, ma'am, no problem. Now we see one by one the types of synthetic fibers. We start. Types of synthetic fibers. Number one, rayon. Number two, nylon. Number three, polyester and acrylic. We see first rayon. Rayon, fabric obtained from silk fiber was very costly, but its beautiful texture fascinated everybody. Fascinated. Fascinated, fascinated everybody. Attempts were made to make silk. Attempts were better. Attempts were not made. Attempts were. If attempts you say were, just a moment. If you say were, it will be like this. What is this? Where? Where? What is this? Were. Say with me. Were. Got the difference now, better? Yes. Okay. So you learn this also, right, Vita? Yes. 
Atoms were Atoms were made to make a silk artificially towards the end of the 19th century. Scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties similar to that of silk. Thank you. Now earlier, only rich people or kings, the queens, the princes, and elite people, the cream people, were able to afford silk. Most of rich people, they were wearing silk. Remember that. So wearing silk was like, uh, like being, you know, uh, showing as if you are very rich. It shows your richness. If you wear silk, it shows your richness. But the common person also wished wanted to wear silk, but it was not affordable to them, it was very costly. So the color, the texture, everybody wanted to wear silk, but it was not possible for everybody to have it, because it was very expensive. So people started, humans started working on it to try and to make silk artificially. What did I say? So they started working on it, they started researching on it, and thought, why not the silk should be available to all of us? Why, why to only few people? But why not to be available to all of us? So what they did, at the end of the 19th century, scientists came to a conclusion. Scientists finally prepared a fiber which was somewhat similar to that of silk. And that's called as artificial silk. What it is called, Vita? Hello? Yes. Yes, what it is called as artificial yes. silk. Artificial. So rayon is also called as artificial silk. Such a fiber was obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp, wood pulp. This fiber was re called rayon yeah. or artificial silk. All thought rayon is obtained from a natural source, wood pulp, yet it is a man-made fiber. It is cheaper than silk and can be when like silk fibers. Woven. 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 Now this fiber, what that human researchers or scientists were working on, from where did they get it? They got it by treating wood pulp chemically. Now what is wood pulp? Can anyone tell me what is wood pulp? Wood pulp is used for making paper. I repeat. Wood pulp is used for making paper. So it is used in paper industry. Right, Vita? Hello? Yes. So this is the consumer tree. You cut a log of wood and then you decay or decompose it. So when you decompose this wood, you get the wood pulp. Then they treat it, they treated it chemically. And the fiber, what they got from this plant, it was called as rayon or artificial silk. Now, rayon actually we are getting from the natural source that is wood pulp, from the, uh, the trees, from the plant we are getting it. But it is a man-made fiber because we are treating chemically. So, it is called as man-made fiber. What is the plus point? What is the advantage of this rayon? That it is cheaper than the than the usual silk and also they can be uh, woven, uh, that means it can be made into clothes, apparel, a sari. So people who really could not afford to have silk now can wear artificial silk. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. All of you? A standard, all of you understood what is real? Hello. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Have you understood or not? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Now, some more regarding the all. Ma'am, can I read? Sure, better. Who was reading earlier? Ma'am, I miss ba. Huh? Miss ba. Okay, miss ba, you did well. Good. Okay, better. You can read now. Yes, ma'am. It Start. can also be dyed in a wide variety. Dyed, bitter. Dyed in a wide variety of colors. Rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets, or mixed with wool to make carpets. Okay. Now you can dye this. The different variety of colors. You can use this rayon and then color it in vivid colors. Miss bright colors. All varieties of colors. What is the meaning of dye? It is a fast color. What is dye, beta? It is a fast, fast color. color. It, it does not go off. Where where are we using this rayon? We can use uh, it when we uh, mix with cotton uh, so as to make bed sheets, or you can mix with wool to make carpets. So I think you understand where we are using the rayon. Okay. Okay, beta. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Read with us. Rayon. Rayon is prepared from celli cellulose. 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 Do. Do cellulose. Do. Do. Though cellulose is a natural polymer, it needs extensive chemical treatment to form rayon. It also called an artificial silk. It absorbs moisture and it comfortable to wear. It can be easily dyed in vivid colors. Dyed, dyed in vivid colors. So rayon is prepared from cellulose. Cellulose you get from where? Plant. From where you get cellulose butter? Yeah. Is it clear? So you know plant. that we are taking yes, we are taking the plant pulp, the wood pulp that is from plant, and the wood is made up of cellulose. You should know that. So it is made from cellulose. Now what is cellulose actually? It is a natural polymer that is from the plant, but human is treating it chemically. What is human doing? It is giving chemical treatment. And that natural is becoming artificial, as called rayon. Understood? Yes, ma'am. So it is called as artificial silk. This is also you understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then it's quite comfortable to wear. But this it absorbs moisture. Written over here, but it does not actually. I will not agree with it. It does not absorb because that's the disadvantage that we have heard, or we have uh, not heard. We have uh, gone through that it does not absorb the sweat, isn't it? Artificial um, silk does not absorb the sweat, so this is a disadvantage. So you don't feel so comfortable. I think this is wrong. Okay, what do you say? What do you say? It is comfortable to wear, no doubt about it. But it does not absorb moisture. Okay. Another plus point about this that we can dye it, we can color it with different types of colors. Any problem? No. Now we see properties of rayon one by one. Please, what is written over here? Easily dyed and woven in cloth, woven into cloth. Okay. That means you can color it easily, and you can spin it and make cloth. Okay, beta. Next is drapes well. That means you can wear it nicely. If you are wearing uh, artificial silk sari, you can drape it around your body nicely. Next. Lustrous in appearance. 
What is lustrous, beta? Shiny. Glossy. What is lustrous? Shiny. So it looks very shiny. Next. Good. Uh, Good absorbent good. of sweat. That means it can absorb sweat quite well. These are the properties of rayon. I will see uses of rayon. Start. Mixed with fiberglass of making for making oh. elements. Helmets with the helmets. So Helmet. fiberglass, yes, fiberglass is mixed with rayon to make helmets. Second, 